Doesn't it? Hello. He's hideous. And well, thanks He's a lot. A bloody cripple. <laughs> thanks a lot. Any more insults? Hello. <laughs> buried him with the corpses. Keep him coming. Foresters are cursed. But who gives a toss? Hello and welcome to the next part of Game. Come on now, lads. I'm trying to do my intro. We have to keep moving. Of Game of Thrones for the PC. Let's crack on and see where we end up. Thanks for watching. Let's continue our journey of Series 2. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Get out of my way. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house. I am the lord of this house. And you will move. Yeah. Go on then, my lord. Keep your eyes off my sister, you fuck. Enjoying this game the more we play it. <laughs> it's madness. You can't starve I them out. We will not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolishness. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as Sentinel. My lords. Roderick. Mother. My boy. Come, join us. I'll meet you there. It's going to take me a while. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. <gasps> My Lord. It's good. <clears throat> It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the Whitehill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies! You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you fool! My lord, please! Oh, I'm a fool! At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Sir Ireland. Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted! He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage! And what have you done to get him back? Nothing! Because we have no bloody army! It's because you have no wit! I will have order! Of course. Apologies, my lord. The Whitehills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Then find me one, Sir Ryland. That's no simple command, my lord. Most of our men fled after Lord Ethan was killed, and our allies are either dead or too afraid of the Boltons to help us. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. 
Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! I'm not ready. My son, I understand your doubts, but if she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yeah, yes. fuck yeah! This marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'll secure a father's army, no matter what it takes. Very good, my lord. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. Well, I'll push her hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Give them wine. I want them dull, not angry. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Oh, ironwood Welcome torches. back, my lord. It's got to be back. And what are these? Father last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him, and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helps me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. Ho, oh, oh. ho. But thank you. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. I presume we're now going to go back to King's Landing. Yes, we are. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. Don't trust her at all. And the seal. Here you are. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Pay no mind to her. She asks too much. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. 
Mira, you have been so patient, so loyal. Your loyalty will not go unrewarded. I'm seeing Grandmother today. She'll have some ideas about your brother's predicament. I'm sure she can help. She's subtle, but very effective. Thank you, my this lady. This is dangerous. If you know the TV series, you'll know what I mean. Mira, we'll talk more later. I don't trust her at all. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter. Oh, God. Uh... No, I'm not going to cross her. I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited. Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard. Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. What about? What about? Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. Is she up to something funny as well? Hmm. Game of Intrigue might be better named. The Black Watch. Where are the owls? Day, isn't it? Seems to keep getting colder. I say it'll be a short order. Oi, fuckhead! You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. I'm not moving. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger in his bloody speech. If you want to survive in the Night's Watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the Wall? The Wall was erected over 8,000 years ago. You'll get us in trouble. Don't be such a bootlicker. Had this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. I was stuck in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? Potatoes? What are you talking about? I stole them. That's what got me sent to the war. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cotter. Cotter the Potato Thief. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? Uh oh. It wasn't me, it was Potato Cutter. Cuttle. Who was it? Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The 
rest of you. Frostfinger. Don Snow. I need a word. Go on, get started. Looks like him as well. Best of luck, Tuttle. I fucking saved your ass, you fucking big bastard. Don't give me no fucking shit now. Here we go. Again. Moves up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Keep my eye on you, boy. <sighs> Castle Black. So this is home now. Yep. Smack its ass. Doing that all wrong. Well, we don't have these. We're like. Oh, <laughs> Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right. Let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt, left target, head. Something wrong with your eyes? Good. Right target, chest. Not bad. Center between the eyes. Okay, now. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Cheers. I ain't no fucking noob. Yeah, he's a noob. Oh, I'm gonna get in a sword fight with him, huh? Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. I won't tell anyone. I knew I could trust you. I'm keeping out of everybody's trouble here. I'm going to end up getting backstabbed. Bandages. I'm not sure what I actually do with any of this. I can't seem to do anything with it. Take that! Take that! Oh, Watch your bloody top! You! Grab a practice sword! I said in the chest, not the bloody wall! Mm. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Alright, I'm gonna shave that moustache off you. Blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Come on, keep at it.
Time Prime, bless it. Well four. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. And that brings us to the end of this part nicely. Thanks for watching. I shall see you in the next part while we're here with the Black Watch at the wall. See you soon. Bye-bye.